because there's still a wedding to be planned. All week long, we will be showing you the steps leading up to our big live wedding on Friday, but the first step is introducing you to the couple. We sat down with Janelle and Mike and their daughter Emma to see how this love story all started. Basically, I I wanted to date him senior year of high school, and he never wanted to give me the time of day. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Not exactly that, but there was a little. But yeah, we we didn't eventually start dating until after high school. Back, we actually ended up meeting up um, just kind of a random night, and. Uh, kind of asked her out and we went out on a date and this is kind of the funny part and she always says. Oh yeah, he, you know, he took me out uh, to dinner. He took me out um, for ice cream and a movie. And then of course, I didn't hear from him after that. <laughs> for probably a good year. Timing is everything. And I think if we would have started dating at that time, it might not have worked out. I was still younger and more immature. So then about a year later, um, we met up again and then been together for six years now. And I knew he would eventually come around. I was like, well, strike one, strike two, not having strike three. Luckily, <laughs> I didn't strike out, yep. <laughs> and every wedding starts with a proposal. I was about eight months pregnant with Emma, and we were just sitting on the couch, and I asked him if he wanted to play cards <laughs> um, before bed, and he went upstairs to get everything, and um, basically he brought the cat down and the ring was on the cat's collar. Um, it was really cute and I was, you know, I started getting really emotional right away and then I was just like, but I don't have any makeup on and I'm in my pajamas and this isn't how it's supposed to go. But it, it was perfect because I was completely surprised. But with a family to plan for, the wedding would have to wait. We didn't have anything set in stone by any means and then Basically, ended up having to put her in daycare. It really comes down to um, finances because um, daycare is expensive. <laughs> so I was like, well, maybe it might have to wait until after she gets out of daycare. Um, so that's basically, you know, what it comes down to. All of our, all of our money goes to Emma. So she's the, she's the center of our attention. Despite this, it's easy to see why Janelle and Mike want to tie the knot. She is probably the most fantastic mother I've ever seen in my entire life and that made me love her even more and I wouldn't even necessarily say opposites attract but in some instances we are a little opposite where we play off each other well. I'm not very patient at all and he basically is just my he holds me steady with everything when I'm stressed out he keeps me calm and that is the, that's probably the one thing I love the most and with Emma he's you know, kids can be frustrating, and he just takes all that frustration away with everything, and I love it. And you can join us this whole week to see how this love story continues. And it's been great working with Janelle and Mike. We have a lot accomplished, and we're still working on a lot, and it will all come to head this Friday live at Holiday Valley. So you exciting. have to stick with us. Very exciting. And I have to say, Emma is so <laughs> precious. What an adorable little girl. 